and there's a plan to try and revive Madison Street, which we've heard a lot about. Yes. Already. Madison Street used to be, I believe, was number 14 shopping center in the city of Chicago. It was, it was huge. When I first came to the West Side, they had National Bank of Commerce. It was the only bank that we had there. But since that time, we had a riot here in 68, and uh, we had the riot. A lot of businesses were burned, and people sort of packed up and left. And then later on, uh, Sears Roebuck had a uh, $250 million bank over on Arlington and Holman Avenue. They picked up and they left. And so it left us without any banks. But under my watch, we have four banks now in this area. And that means that economically people understand that the place is coming back, uh, the west side is coming back, this area is coming back. With all the new homes you see coming up, those people got jobs, people are going to come back. So we're very proud that we have these four banks that have come back to the west side, and in particularly the 28th Ward. Do you see any indication that income levels are rising in the ward? The well, it will. Eventually it's going to rise. Uh, most of the shops that we have here are what we call more and pop shops. And of course across the country, it is not the Fortune 500 companies that provide all the jobs, it's the small shops, the three and four uh, people shop. And that's the same thing that's going to happen here. The scale will not get up for some time. All of the scales out there now are less than $10 an hour. It's rare to get a job that is in this community that pays over $10.50 an hour. But uh, we've we got many companies that are small that have come back to the west side of Chicago or started in the west side of Chicago. A lot of people we've talked to said they would like, you know, more grocery stores and things like that, you know, a major Dominic's Jewel close to, the, close to where they live. Um, do you... Do, See uh, Dominic's or Jewel coming in? Dominic's or Jewel, the major drugstore, is going to come in as the community comes back. Now, we've talked to Jewel about coming. As a matter of fact, we thought at one time we had them ready to come. And they said to us that we need a $5 million, we need $5 million to, to, to close the gap because of the, uh, the uh, portfolio that we're putting together. Once we put that together, we see that we need $5 million to make everything gel. We found a company that uh, would uh, allow them to borrow $5 million. They said, well, we want somebody to give us $5 million. Well, you can't do that. And this company is willing to do it on the back end. So take it for 30 years. We don't care. But you can get it. So eventually, Jewels will come, uh, either Dominic's will come, or a major drugstore will come because that's high on our priority list. Uh, I, too, live in this community. I have to go a long ways to shop. And I would like for... Uh, to pull out them out of the garage and go four or five blocks to shop. And so we're going to continue to work on that to try to bring them back. Right. How about uh, programs for ex-offenders? I know that's another issue. Fair number of ex-offenders in the ward. Um, anything specifically being done to, to try to help them integrate back? In well, the we're working on a couple of things for ex-offenders. Matter of fact, in the last, about the last three years, we had about 15,000 ex-offenders to come in to the west side of Chicago, Austin, Lawndale, Garfield, East Garfield, and they can't find jobs. And the reason why they can't find jobs is because once they go pick up an application, on the application there's a box that said, check the box if you got a criminal background. And once they check the box, the conversation is over, the interview is over, they just have to get up and leave because the people are not interested. Everyone who has gone to prison is not a bad guy. Everyone that has gone to prison is not going to go into crime in perpetuity. That's just not going to happen. There are many people who have gone to jail, who have come out, I mean by the hundreds, by the thousands, who are good people, who made a mistake. And once they come out of jail, they are strapped with that for the rest of their life. They're going to company, they're just not going to hire them. So right now, we've got a resolution in the city council that prohibits that. We're saying that if a person has gone to jail, he stayed clean for five years, why not give him a chance? And we're asking, asking the mayor and we're asking the governor to make sure that this thing get passed in the legislature and give these people a chance. Because if you do not give him a chance, he is going to survive one way or the other. Either he's going to be out on the, on the corner selling drugs or he's going to be doing heinous crime some other place to get money because he's going to wear clothes, he's going to eat. That's two things that's going to happen. So we need to find a way to help him do that. So we are working to try to get this ordinance passed. We'll pass a resolution because our resolution is not state binding. Our resolution is on the city of Chicago. Uh, we work with, on what is called the home rule in the city council, but the overall rule comes out of the state legislature. They give us our power. So the state can pass it and they can 
make it happen. The governor really should sign off of it, and I think the mayor will be uh, uh, available, and I think he will help us to try to get something passed in the city council. What, what sort of trend do you see in the ward in terms of crime in general? I don't know if you have any statistics uh, off the top of your head, but crime up, down in your ward? The crime is, is, is high, it's bad. But the only thing that is going to uh, help crime uh, disintegrate or move off the scene is jobs. People commit crime for the most part because they don't have money to satisfy whatever need they're looking for. But if a person has a job, he can go to his job and make some money. He doesn't need to do all those things on the corner that are adverse to society. So as long as we can work, we're going to try to bring the jobs that will get these people off of these corners and other places uh, where they are a nuisance to society. All right. Thanks. Very Thanks good. a lot. Anytime. Thank you very much. Anytime. Perfect.